I've been asked why I do not like IQ as a measure. And the shortest answer I can give is that intelligence as some sort of global concept with a specific number is not meaningful or particularly well defined. And yet it's held in our society as a valuable thing that even determines your character. It is a compliment if you are smart and have a high IQ, and it is an insult if you are dumb and have a low IQ. And if you look at the history of IQ, what you see is that originally, the goal was to score someone's so-called mental age or their performance compared to their actual age. Meaning functionally, how is your academic and other sort of intellectual performance compared to those around the same age as you? And so you can already see why, as research continued over the years, we have found that a huge contributor to IQ is your socioeconomic status. Now, of course, this is not to say that biology and genetics can't play some role in determining your ability to do certain tasks like math or language, but it does mean that your score is strongly influenced as well by how much money you have. And looking at a score that is clearly influenced by the advantages or disadvantages you've had in life, as if it is saying something innate about your ability or character is a problem and therefore has been used to even bolster racist ideologies, as I've talked about in previous videos. Now, this doesn't mean that IQ tests have no value. In fact, really qualified psychologists who understand these tests can do a lot of good things with the data. However, that's usually from the subscore data, not that full-scale IQ number that everyone talks about in the media. Because this can give us an individual's verbal, visual, spatial, fluid reasoning, working memory, or processing speed information. And that can be super helpful for that individual kid who maybe is struggling in school, and now we understand, oh, you're struggling with verbal comprehension, even though your processing speed is really fast. Most assessments can be useful when they're used properly. But this idea of having some IQ score that tells me how good or bad I am in society really needs to go. Thanks for the question, and if you've got any others, throw them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and follow for more neuro and psych content.